New question. Much of evolutionary theory is not scientific theory. It does not follow the scientific method to be proven. How can you, as a scientist, consciously back it up? Well, again, I would take issue with that. And one of the things you can study for yourself in that list of creationist arguments, and this is, as a matter of fact, the title is Many Scientists Re Reject Evolution, and it, it's related to your very point. Um, and I will read a little from it. Of the approximately 13 million scientists and engineers in the U.S. alone, less than 5%, some 600,000, are creationists, according to a Gallup poll. And taking into account only those working in related fields, earth and life sciences, there are about 48, 480,000 scientists, but only about 700 believe in creation science or consider it a valid theory. And there's a reference here, Robinson, 1995. And again, you can look all this up for yourself on the Internet. Just go to my site, go to the links page, and the list of creationist arguments. And that, that okay, this means that less than 0.15% of relative scientists believe in creationism. When you look at the science, when you study it, when it's debated in the courts, and the Supreme Court has always ruled on the side of evolution, you come to the conclusion that, again, it happened the way secular scientists say it did. And it's the same as sincerely looking at the evidence for the existence, reality, deity of Jesus. Anyone that sincerely looks at that evidence will come to the conclusion that Jesus is God and will come to the knowledge of the fundamentals of our relationship with him. It's the same thing. If you sincerely and diligently look at the evidence and the people whose life's work it is, the scientists, they overwhelmingly come to that conclusion in the same way that anyone that looks at the life of Jesus will come to the conclusion that he is God and what our relationship with him is. So I would take issue with it. It's the exact opposite. The overwhelming majority of scientists and it follows the scientific method and there's point after point after point and again I would encourage you to research this on your own. Okay, first I would take issue with the survey. I wouldn't buy that for one second that half a percent of the scientists believe in creation. I think the polls that I've seen show like 55%, according to New York Times, believe in evolution, which leaves 45% who don't believe in our evolution. But it wouldn't matter. Majority opinion doesn't matter. If you went to the Soviet Union 10 years ago and did a survey, how many of you teachers believe in communism? No, oh, I do. And they all do. Because if you don't, you go to Siberia, okay? And here in America, if you don't bow down to the sacred cow of evolution, you go to academic Siberia. They won't publish your papers. They won't give you government grants. You won't get research grants. There is, you cannot make it in the scientific world without bowing down and kissing the cow of evolution. So it's just a matter of the same situation they had in the Soviet Union 10 years ago, only here it's based on the creation-evolution argument. It's not because there's scientific evidence. And to argue that because the majority believe something, therefore it's true, is ludicrous. All you got to do is look at the history of science and find thousands of examples where they taught things that were not true. For 2,000 years, it was taught big rocks fall faster than little rocks. <laughs> That's not true, but it was taught for 2,000 years by the majority of scientists. So I wouldn't buy the argument from majority opinion to begin with. And secondly, I would really take issue with the stats there that a half percent believe in creation. He must not know the same people that I know, because I know a lot of scientists who love the Lord and believe the Bible is literally true. Every branch of science, every branch of science was started by creationists. I would like to hear one thing the evolution theory has done for the good of science. It's not because of the evolution theory that we have computers or silicone or space shuttles. The evolution theory has nothing to do with science. It has donated nothing to the field of science. Even if it were true, it's a useless, useless theory. There's no evidence for it doesn't do any good to anybody, and there's no, it, it's, it's, it's not science. Thank you.